Okay, so I will record our walk home so you can have an idea of uh, where we are staying and how it looks like. Voilà. So you can see all the houses here, or most of them. They look like these right stone houses, but as you can see, many of them are really like uh, remodeled on the inside and even in, on the outside. You can see these ones, right? And it's very interesting because you can see this, how you call it, like seals? I don't know. But you can see those, some of those uh, symbols, right? They are really old. They are from the 1700s. And even older. Yesterday we saw one from 1777, I believe. So you get a glimpse of for how long these houses have been standing, right? But others, for example, this one, I'll bet they rent it, and you can see it looks really nice, right? The stone with the glass work is like super beautiful. Hola, buenas. Hola. So you can see this street, right? This house <laughs> is a uh, It's what, like one meter this wall, but you can see it opens on the side, right? And again, you can see how they keep them. And the river is just beside us, right? The river is just right there. And you can see these gardens, they probably belong to these houses. And again, a lot of people having chickens, animals, a lot of people like uh, growing some food, which is uh, nice to see. And then you find buildings like this one, which are really modern buildings, right? And we are staying on that building right there. We will walk there right now, but I will go this way so you can see it. This is a nice building right here. I really like these stone walls with the plants on the top. You can see how it looks like really nice. It's beautiful, right? The view is really beautiful. You see the mountains and the fog. You can see the, the mix of the construction, right? Old time rocks, then you, he, you see here some bricks, and then you see newer bricks, right? So let me just get closer so you can see it. And then you see this big wood. These are the windows from the old times. You can see how small most of them are no longer useful, but you see how small they were. And of course it was just to keep the warm within the house, right? It doesn't really matter where you are staying in, in Cabrales, right? The view is outstanding, right?
Moss, moss. It's full of cats, right? There are cats everywhere. Moss. This is the building we are staying at and it's kind of a self-serve building once you pay for it. We did it through Airbnb. Once you pay, it, uh, they send you a message with uh, which one of these keys will be yours and with the code you take the kids out of the, of the lock and basically you get this, right? Two keys and one of them is for the main door right here. Uh, this way. And uh, once you go inside, it looks like this. It's, uh, it looks really nice, to be honest. No reception, anything, right? So it's really up to you. You know your floor number. They have this elevator. Uh, let's check it out. It looks really nice, really clean. Everything is like well done, you know? So. We are staying on the second floor. It's just a short, uh, short lift. Uh, we left our dogs in the house uh, for like, the time it took us to take the Cabrales cheese uh, tour. Here you get right, so you get to your room, to your floor, here are dogs. They're barking. <laughs> Okay, so once you get into the apartment, you have like this small hall, right? We are very lazy, right? So you can see our bags right there. Then you get the bathroom, right? As you can see, the bathroom is uh, it's really nice. It was super clean when we got it, right? So you have your bathtub. You also get your normal stuff in the bathroom, right? So you really get what you need. We were really grateful of, hey, these uh, towels, right? Really nice, very clean, hotel quality, I would say. This is the bedroom. It's a very simple bedroom, but uh, it's really all what we need. So you have this uh, place to put your clothes. Again, right, the bed, the, 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 the mattress, the, the sheets, everything was like super clean. So props to the owner. And you can park your car for free right here. This is the car that uh, we are using while we are here. And as you can see the view, you, you get the parking lot, but you also got the, the mountains, right? Which is really nice. So this is the bathroom again, right? Like super clean. Everything is like the, the, the ceilings are tall, which is nice, right? Because you don't feel stuck. And you also got the, the heater, right? So in case you are cold, you can like use your heater. So, this is our living room, right? I work right from here. And you can see again, you get these crystal windows. And it's super cool because you get the mountain view, right? Very nice. As you can see today, it's very foggy. And there is a cool feature I want to show you. And we have seen this in mostly everywhere that we have been in Spain. Not in Madrid though, but here you, you have this. And you can see how, we don't, we don't have this in Florida. How come, you know, I'm like surprised. And that's it, it goes <laughs> completely dark once you use it, right? I will just put the light so you get an idea. But uh, it goes really dark. So this for sleeping is amazing. You know, we have the same in the, in the bathroom and you'll find the same on the kitchen. Check the kitchen out. The kitchen is uh, enough, to be honest, you know? You get your counter, you get small fridge. That's the only thing that I think like, huh? 
Maybe we could use a bigger fridge, but as you can see, it's really enough. If you are spending one week or so, that's all you need, to be honest. And again, you'll find exactly the same system right here. So if you want to take uh, some good sleep, this is amazing, you know? It really helps us in that sense. And that's it, that's the kitchen. You have a washing machine right there. And, and that's it, it's a really nice uh, place to stay. And so far, we really like it, you know? Our dog bed and everything we need is just right here within reach. Okay, here is where we are staying and tomorrow we are moving to our next spot in uh, San Sebastian.